Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday at 3 p ooh, 3 p.m. on the dot. Yep, 3 p.m. on the dot. I'm just sitting here. I'm waiting for my doctor to call me back. I was okay, so I got a missed call because my phone stays on DND. Which is this is what I get for that too. Like my phone was on DND, so my doctor's office called me and I unfortunately missed the call, so I called back. I got the receptionist and she said that the doctor's gonna have to give me a call back later, but she did wanna go over some results. And she needs to call me back immediately because that's one of the worst things you can possibly say to me on the phone. I recently just went for my yearly checkup. They just do the full thing, like blood work, check the limbs, check the, 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 the breathing, the lungs, you know, the whole rundown, rundown, and for her to say she wanna go over some stuff, she needs to call me back right now. Am I dying or something? Like, she needs to call me back. All right, so, yeah, just waiting for a call back. Hopefully I'm fine. So yeah, that's how my day is going. I also just, is my phone? Okay, yeah, so I also have my salad here. I also made a quick little salad. I'm gonna be having the salad all week, so I will be making it again for you guys at some point, but it's my favorite salad right now. It's just a whole bunch of spinach and um, just orange and apples and balsamic vinaigrette with salt and pepper and some pepper flakes. So good. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm done cleaning and it's already like, what time is it? 5.02, which is so insane because I just woke up, it feels like, and did my makeup and everything. And now it's time to like wind down for the day. I was gonna go to the gym, but I don't really want to anymore because um, I'm just hungry. I'm not, I haven't like eaten anything substantial. Therefore, the thought of working out, I don't think I'm even gonna make it <laughs> throughout a workout right now. So I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna have some curry chicken and rice. Made this yesterday, as you guys know. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat some food. This morning I had oatmeal, the little packet ones, and then I had just some coffee, and then for lunch I had a salad. That cannot hold me, and there's no way I can go downstairs right now and go lift weights on something. Yeah, I'm just gonna heat this up for dinner. I'm just gonna heat this up right now. Three minutes should be good. Time to watch some television. Oh my gosh, I'm also really loving my painting on the TV. The, um, this one here. I absolutely love this painting. I'm so sad that I'm just discovering it now because I just love everything about this and I wish it was on here the, the entire time. So, I don't know if any new sh episode of anything came out yesterday. Um, let's go to Peacock, see if any like new Bravo episodes came out. But I think they're in the reunion. For some reason, like I love that the housewives and stuff, but I'm not like a big fan of like the reunions. Okay, let's just watch the reunion. Not much, not many options on right now. So, yeah. Uh, this happening time and time again with people's husbands. Coincidentally, happens when the camera starts rolling. You're not smart. Yeah, I kind of am. Or that he did something to make you feel uncomfortable. I, I feel like this is semantics. For fear that they... Between she and Peter, you were trying to make it uh, yeah. something maybe more than it was. I okay. did not intend to argue with sitting here almost a year later, and you cannot take ownership of what you did. <laughs> Hi guys, update, it's now 9.30. I'm now on my computer desk. Computer desk? <laughs> I actually shot a skincare routine video tonight. My hair is all floofy. But um, I shot a skincare video, and now I'm sitting down to just make my to-do list for tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to have some dessert and maybe some tea and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know if you guys can tell my eyes are so red. But yeah, I'm just gonna make my to-do list for tomorrow so I know exactly what needs to get done so I don't procrastinate. All right, now time to have some dessert because no day is complete without dessert. Um, I think I'm gonna have my grape nut ice cream, but this one. Let me put you guys down. Ugh. That's what it looks like. It looks so good, doesn't it? It looks so good. All right, I'm gonna let this thing like, soften a little bit because I do not like eating like hard ice cream and I'm probably gonna finish this entire thing. It's literally up to here, which is a lot of ice cream, but. I got this honey holder plus little thingy from CB2 and I just love it. I kind of just put it in, I kind of like wheel it around so the honey doesn't, you know. I just put it on my teacup. And for tea today, I'm having this lemon ginger tea. Not really what I was in the mood for, but I don't have any more chamomile or chamomile. And I don't have many caffeine-free caffeine options. 
um, for tea here, unfortunately. Oh, it smells so good. I love this brand. Is this Bigelow? Yeah. Oh, such a good brand for teas. Like, they're so, like, they're very well, like, I don't know, potent? <laughs> Is that the right word? Just add in my hot water now. In addition to tea this evening, I need to have some water. I'm so behind on my water intake today. So one baby bottle. All right. It's also snowing, and this is the first snow I'm seeing all winter. Close the blinds. Where are my night lights? I don't do darkness anymore. I'm such a scaredy cat these days, so I always have these little things. Although my apartment is literally so tiny, I, I need these. I need these. I was going to watch this movie, but I feel like it's a horror thriller. I'm 12 minutes in and I'm already like scared, so I'm gonna just <laughs> not. Um, yeah, I guess there's nothing on Netflix, so let's go to Disney Plus, perhaps. Maybe I'll watch like a little Disney Channel original movie that's lighthearted enough for bedtime. But yeah, let me go to bed. <gasps> What's going on here? Morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I slept in. Waking up at 5 these past few days have been really difficult for me. I guess because the weather is like... It's cold now. It was really nice the past few like weeks, surprisingly, but now it's like cold and like snowy. So I was feeling really very cozy. So I did not want to wake up, but yeah. I washed these towels yesterday. No. So morning skincare, Ugh. using my La Roche-Posay I don't know, it's the hydrating cleanser. My skin is really dry today. I think I have to skip my retinol tonight. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my faded brightening clearance serum. I like to use this in the daytime because at night I do use my tretinoin. And I just like to apply this to like the areas like my cheeks, but it has a lot of spots. And now I'm gonna go in with my sunscreen. And I'm very generous with this. Although I spend all day inside the house and have no reason to go out, I still use sunscreen. I'm gonna go in with my L'Occitane moisturizer here. I love this moisturizer because it's so like hydrating. And I'm just gonna go under my eyes with my Ocean Eyes by Osea. I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna roll the ball it under my eyes. All right, all done with my skincare. My skin feels amazing. Um, I woke up with a feeling really dry and I was like, uh -uh. let's go make some breakfast. Have a ginger shot. First one, personal, but second, I need to edit a video. Three, shoot a Zara haul. I, that might not happen only because to edit and shoot in the same day is probably not gonna work out. At first, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and check my comments, emails, um, reach out to my manager, see if there's anything new going on, and that whole thing. So for dinner this evening, I wanted to make something quick and easy. So I have this Cracker Barrel baked mac and cheese um, mix here. I did try this once before and I believe I liked it. I wasn't sure. So I decided to pick two up and try it again. So this is the white cheddar and I'm just waiting for the water to come to a boil here before adding in the macaroni. 
and once it's al dente we're gonna just go in with um you know the other things that are included in the packet because it's a whole like thing so yeah once macaroni is cooked we're just going to drain and on the other side i just have some salmon cooking i kind of did like a little barbecue ish glaze salmon vibe i'm not a salmon person i don't know why i don't like salmon and as a result i feel like i don't do a good job like when i cook it it's either undercooked or overcooked never perfect and i also don't know how to season it i i never get it right but yeah we're making salmon and uh, we're just gonna get started on making the roux now for the mac and cheese again it's a whole kit so now it's time for us to make the roux so it's, there's butter in the pan and then you add in this like flour mixture and then it's gonna thicken and then you're gonna mix in some milk to loosen it up and then once it's loosened you're gonna add in the cheese and then you're gonna add in the macaroni and oh my gosh this cheese sauce i don't know i don't like i feel like it tasted very artificial like it tasted like just like chemically like yeah you get me um so i didn't really like this at all but obviously when i'm making it i didn't know but once i have the macaroni in, i decided to add some seasonings to it because i do like when my baked mac is seasoned so i have some parsley some little cajun spices um which i thought would complement the salmon and i also decided to add some salmon pieces into the macaroni for like a baked salmon macaroni and cheese vibe I loved the idea, but I don't like the mac and cheese mix, if that makes any sense. So after I put it in my baking tray, I'm just gonna add the breadcrumbs that were included in the kit. And yeah, I'll just allow it to bake for, I believe it baked for like 20 minutes. So yeah, um, I didn't really like it, but I still ate just that piece that I'm sectioning out. Um, but yeah. Morning guys, happy Wednesday. I It's 8.49 right now. I woke up around 8.30. So I just woke up and I quickly just jumped into like some gym wear because I haven't worked out all week and it is Wednesday. So I need to go to the gym. I'm one of those people like I, I need to work out. It's, it's really not a option for me anymore. And it has nothing to do with like weight and stuff. Working out truly just has a really big impact on my mental and i need to go to the gym i need to move my body i need to sweat i need to do something i can't just be in the house like this and if you leave it to me i will do this because i'm such a home body and i'm never like really bored you know i can find 101 things to do in this apartment though it's small and whatever but you know me i'm definitely very happy just being at home but over time that does take a toll on like your mental health and um i've seen it happen time and time again especially to me so i'm trying to do better to like just go and work out if it's even to walk outside for like 10 minutes do that but yeah anyways we're gonna go to the gym i'm just gonna drink a celsius and clean up the apartment until it starts to kick in because yesterday i cooked and everything and i left all i didn't clean up after myself let's just say that after I ate dinner, I decided to start editing the weekly vlog up until, you know, Wednesday. I'm trying to stay on top of editing, so on Sundays, I'm not overwhelmed and I don't upload late, um, you know? So I started to edit and I was just dozing away and I just got lazy and I said, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow. So yeah, I left out the mac and cheese, as you can see, which is so frustrating and I left the plate that I ate from on the coffee table. This I'm gonna have to get rid of because it's dairy and it's also fish. I don't think I can eat this. But also, I don't really know if I enjoyed it last night, so I also don't care. It tastes very artificial. I don't know how to explain it, but the cheese does not taste like natural. It tastes like it's processed, which it probably is. It was like a liquidy thing, which I wasn't expecting. 
because I love Cracker Barrel and I eat their cheese a lot. So I was expecting like cheese, like shredded up, not that gooey stuff. But yeah, I'll clean up. Let me just grab a Celsius. Oh, so by the way, I did hear back from my doctor. Um, she took forever and I was literally just like on edge the entire day, but she finally called and um, I did go in for my regular checkup, just my yearly. And um, she did ask me if there's any like issues that I was like experiencing. So I did tell her I've been very fatigued. Um, I don't feel like I have enough energy anymore and dizziness. Like I've definitely been feeling like little dizziness and usually it's when I'm not eating on time or eating enough, I do notice it. But then she said, you know, no worries. Let's just do the blood work and we'll see what happens. And she did come back and say that. So when she called me, she did say, all right, so what you've been feeling, it could just be because you are anemic. Oh, you know, she mentioned like my red blood cell count and the fact that my iron levels are just low. So I Googled like, me and my Google, me and my Google. And so I Googled like what are their like issues like being anemic could like lead to and hair loss which you guys know I've been struggling with. like, And it's not falling out from the roots, it's just breaking off, like it's brittle. One thing about that Celsius, it's gonna get your, it's gonna get your blood flowing and pumping so you're ready for your workout. But before I go downstairs, I need to pick a playlist. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. I My high energy workout mix by, I don't know who made this, but it's two hours long. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back from the gym now. Oh my gosh, I look so gross. <laughs> Let me see something. I wanted to um I wanna go get my nails done today. Um, you know, I've switched over to the this camera is not focusing lately. I wanna go do my nails today. Um, these are my nails right now. I've switched over to the gel manicure lifestyle. I just love it. But I do think that my nails are a little bit too weak to be out like this right now. So I'm trying to see if there's, um, I, I always just get the same like things like um, hard gel, UV gel rather, um, which I don't want to do anymore because it's, it's what I've been doing on my nails. If you guys remember the days where I used to go to Fina Nail Bar a lot. Fina Nail Bar is who I used to go to when my nails were at its best. Like all these pictures I'm putting on the screen now are when I used to do my nails at Fina Nail Bar. That clean aesthetic like nail look, that was Fina. I never had to worry about my shape, my nothing. I just went there and relaxed. But I do live farther from where Fina Nail Bar is now. So I was trying to find a nail tech in my area and it's so difficult, so I always just end up going to the city. But I don't wanna have to go to the city every time I need I need my nails done. Like, I always, like, why? That's so ridiculous. But I do have some nail, some nail places in this area that I do like, but here's my problem, right? The one that I go to, the lady there is very good with the shape, um, the, the application and everything, but they don't carry OPI colors. And I keep telling myself, I'm gonna buy my OPI color and when I have it here, so when I go to them, I have it, but I always forget. And um, uh, the shape is always a hit or miss with them. I always have to buy a nail thing and fix it when I get home and I don't wanna do that. The next place I go to, there are good nail techs in there, but I kind of feel like they, they have like a clientele, so they don't take anyone new, right? Which I understand, I understand, but it's like, the nail techs on the other part, it's like a hit or miss. And I always read their Google reviews to see who does what, you know, to see like the the work. Okay, so what I mean is I like, like I'll go to like their Google page and I'll go to like reviews. 
Now, I don't really always read reviews and believe it, but I always just like to see the work that they did previously and just see the name of the person that did it. All right, I've showered, I'm all clean. My appointment is now officially like 25 minutes away. My appointment for my nails is in 25 minutes, but before I leave, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit because I don't wanna come back to this mess. But it's not really a mess, it's just the paperwork and stuff I still have out from my call, plus like the kitchen and things like that. So I'm just gonna do a little speed clean and just, just straighten up things a little bit. For the nail salon, I'm wearing this hat that I got from a cafe called Banter in New York. It was last year when I also had a pixie cut and it was so cold that I needed something to warm my head. So I still have it. So this one I'm wearing as well as my Uniqlo heat tech top and heat tech leggings. I'm gonna be wearing my giant coat here. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna swap out my Celine sunglasses for my Desi On Red, I believe these are called, the On Red. Kinda of like the cat eye vibe a little bit better. I'm not gonna wear it though. I feel like the beanie and the glasses together are a bit much but I do want to go do my hair after. We'll see, if she's busy I won't go and I'll just do it myself, but if she can take me, I'll go. All right, Uber's gonna be here in four minutes, so I'm gonna head downstairs, so catch you guys at the nail salon. They're okay. They're um, a lot longer than I would like, but then, you know, how much shorter was I really expecting? All right, and then we're gonna do a pedicure. uber over i decided that like wow like i actually really hate my nails i don't like them one bit they just look so bad um yeah so i'm gonna oh such a such a waste of time efforts and money to be honest but i deserve this you know why because even before i went i was telling you how you have to be careful with this place because of this and the that, but I still decided to go and you know, whatever. Anyways, let me wash my hands. I'm gonna make some lunch now. I'm gonna make a salad. So it's gonna be half a bag of spinach. I love spinach, so I can eat tons of it, especially when it's raw like that. So it's spinach like that, really nice and yummy. I'm gonna do some fruit. I'm just gonna add that fruit on top of the salad. Peeling the orange pretty deep because I really want to get the white part off. This gets really messy, but we're gonna peel it pretty deep so we get the white part off of it. Just cut it in half because I'm not gonna use the whole thing either. I'm just gonna really just slice this up. The juice from this is also gonna act as 
a part of our salad dressing. So my favorite salad though, right now, my favorite salad. It's absolutely delicious. So this is what the salad looks like. Okay, so once it's done, that's what it looks like. And I just like to go in with my balsamic vinaigrette. I did need to order another one of these because I'm running low, but I also don't like a lot of dressing, so this might be able to last me. I have another bag of spinach left. Um, and then I just like to add a little pepper flakes. I, looks, I like when my salad is salty and sweet. And I just do a little thing of salt. The other orange a little bit and kind of just give it a little squeeze. And... Um, Just gonna like toss it a little bit. I don't have an official salad bowl. This entire scene is giving me deja vu. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know this is a typical thing for me to, to get my nails done and come home to fix them. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just trying to fix the shape. But it was pointless because right after I did this and I started to love them, the polish just peeled right off. I did end up calling the salon because not only that, the acrylic was on my cuticles, like on my skin, and it was very uncomfortable. But yeah, story of my life. Hey guys, today is Thursday. I'm in the process of doing some laundry. Um, today's been a day already. Um, it's currently, is, is this too bright? Hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's currently 1 38 p.m. So it's pretty late in the day. Um, I woke up Feeling very very sore and just like I really worked out hard yesterday and I also went up in weight so my muscles were Dead, but I ended up going to the gym today to hit the legs and I did the same thing I went up. Um, I went heavier in like weight so my muscle is definitely like in failure mode like the slightest of movements is just like i'm just shaking but but um yeah i cut the workout short because i ended up feeling really really dizzy and um yeah this like whole like low iron thing makes so much sense now once i was feeling like a little bit dizzy i did cut the workout short drank some water came upstairs and made something to eat i had a, a like a thing of salmon that was defrosting so i already just i just made it for breakfast um and I also need to wash my hair. Under this beanie is a mess of hair. So we're going to wash our hair today. Sit under the dryer. I'm just gonna get a little plastic cap thingy and I'm just gonna sit under the dryer. So I'm gonna wash my hair now. I'm just gonna wash out the deep conditioner. Then I might just hit it with like 
a little bit of this protein fusion thingy um just a little bit and then i'm gonna come out style mold that whole thing and show you guys how i do that i've been meaning to show you and i still haven't so i'm excited to do that today so let me go shower and i'll come back i'm gonna go in with the aunt jackie's um quench moisture intense leave-in conditioner i'm just gonna do the slightest amount so like a very little amount of this i'm just gonna like just rub this in I'm gonna go in with my Verb Extra Hydration Leave-In Conditioner slash Glossy, whatever. Some leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna go in with my Lata Body Setting Lotion. So you have to dilute this. So I have it in my Olaplex bottle <laughs> mixed with some water. Sometimes I even like put it in like my hand like this just to control how much I'm using and just kind of like, you know, really go in there separate the hair and start comb combing it down it's freshly cut so this process is very easy to do but I separate it because I like my hair to lay a certain way like right now i'm gonna now go in with some mousse i use this argan oil one i don't know if it's good or not it's just the only thing that i had here it's what i usually use for my box braids whenever i want to like make them look more fresh i've had it for so long of a time i should have put on my robe <laughs> but yeah kind of just apply the mousse all over my hair um I'm going to go in with my wrap, wrap it. I want to wrap it as tight as you can. It's sometimes hard to get it really tight because they just break. But just try to get it as tight as you possibly can. So I try to pull it. Mm-hmm. So I use a few when I do. Then I just take one at the top. I do have a lot of breakage up there and tie it under my chin. This is how I dry my hair. I look crazy, but it's gonna be sleek. So after drying my hair, I just put a scarf on and headed to the kitchen to start dinner. Um, I wanted to make chili because it's been snowing the past day. It was just cold outside and I thought chili would be the perfect cozy meal. I've only made chili once before and I didn't really like how it turned out. I felt like it was more on the sweeter side and it's because I added tomato sauce, which you probably shouldn't do. So this is my second attempt at making chili. I'm going to just saute the onions and peppers in a pan until the onions are like translucent. And then I'm going to add in my ground beef. I did go with the 85% and then the 15 like that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to like wait until the ground beef is cooked and then we're going to go in with all our spices. I did go in with like a chili powder, smoked paprika, obviously the trifecta, the, you know, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I am going to add in some pepper flakes for spice and cayenne pepper as well. So yeah, I did give this a lot of seasonings and was sure to taste it as I went along because I just want to make sure that the spice level wasn't too out of control. So yeah, I'm just adding in my spices here until it's to the taste that I prefer and then just make sure that I'm like mixing. So once I've done that, I'm gonna add in my tomato paste and I wasn't sure how much to use, but I ended up just using a majority of this tube. Um, because once I used it all, I was like, okay, it's starting to look like chili now. It's, it has that, like, color. So, see, it's still, like, light. So when I add in the rest of it, it was giving chili. So I was like, okay. So I just used the entire thing. And just give it a really good, like, mix. And um, once I've done that, I'm going to go in with, I think I went in with the beef broth after this. Yeah. We're gonna go in with some beef broth and I'm just gonna add enough to kind of loosen things up and you know give it a nice mix and um, we're gonna go in with the canned um, diced tomatoes I end up using one of 
this one of these at first but i did go in with another can eventually i don't think i showed it but i did use two cans of diced tomatoes and i did go in with two cans of rinsed kidney beans now this seems like a lot of beans but i do like a bean heavy chili i was gonna use three different style of beans but it was just very difficult to find the beans that i wanted so i just went with the kidney beans now I'm adding a little bit, bit more broth, we're going to mix and I'm going to go in with some a little bit more seasoning just because I feel like adding all the t tomatoes and stuff really messed with the flavors so I just added more and we're going to mix and then we're going to cover and let this cook. I did cook my chili for about an hour and a half on a very low heat so it could simmer and just marinate and do all that good stuff. Wow, I'm really putting a lot of spices in here. But when I tell you this chili was so good, I'm not mad at how many spices I used because it was giving flavor, okay? So um, I just mixed everything up and I finished off with some nutmeg and some cinnamon. I got this hack off a TikTok user's page and I completely will be doing this for all of my beef bolognese type of foods moving forward because I really loved what that did so yeah, I'm just gonna put the lid on and simmer and this is the chili after 30 minutes and I'm gonna show you what it looks like again after an hour but yeah I allow this to cook for such a long time and it was so worth it and I did make cornbread for my side mm-hmm and um yeah this is the chili after an hour and a half and we're just gonna serve her up i just added cheddar cheese to mine and some cilantro i don't eat sour cream or anything so i didn't add that but yeah i really enjoy this and i had like two bowls that night and the next day and it was so yum morning guys today is friday um I'm kind of just up and trying to get ready for the day. I have an appointment in the city, so um, just getting myself sorted for that. The foundation that I'm using now, Makeup by Mario. Oh, amazing. I Sephora matched me to 25W, but I honestly think I could have done like a 25 neutral. But you guys can be the judge of that. So I'm going to just do a pump. And I'm just going to blend it out using like these like tiny brushes. I think the color is pretty good. Actually, it looks really good right now. Maybe it's the sun. Heavier concealer look. I like doing my makeup also in the sun because I get to see exactly where the sun hits me like naturally. Like what areas of my face naturally attracts attracts like light and it helps me with my contouring so that's my concealer and to contour i actually use the l'oreal true match foundation i use a little dot because it's the perfect contour color it's so nice and i love this concealer because it doesn't crease on me every concealer has just been creasing in my deep behind fine lines under my eyes and it's so funny because you know i'm just a sunscreen girl and everything and i never thought to put like sunscreen under my eyes or anything and under my eyes is definitely giving never worn sunscreen a day in her life type of vibe all right so for the hair this is what we're working with um oh my god my hair feels it's so soft so yeah you guys know my hair routine to some extent kind of just comb it down Like so. And I do not use heat in my hair on an everyday basis. I really don't. I kind of just, I do a little bit. It has a little bit of a volume to it. All right, I'm gonna have some ramen for breakfast and watch some TV. Then I'm gonna head out. These are all dirty, so let's add her in the batch. 
powder. So washing my brushes frequently is a part of my skincare routine because I've now realized just how much of an impact um, like dirty brushes will have on my skin. And I'm realizing that when your brush, when your brushes are dirty, there's no point in worrying about your skincare. Like your brushes are bacteria filled. Wash your brushes. Yes, I'm talking to you. All right, I made my ramen, drank a Celsius, and I'm just going to straighten up the apartment a little bit before I leave, and then we're gonna head out. But right now it's currently 7.56, so I wanna head out by like 8.30, 8.40 the latest, so. Flowers, I called her. I mean, I definitely, I kinda wanted this this weekend just to kinda, I just need a break. I don't think I had a chance to like sit in my own like comfort zone a little bit, and just be by myself. I need a little, little free now. Yeah, great idea because people have to keep of all pre up meetings, you're having a conversation before you get married. About all right, I've eaten and I'm just finishing up my Celsius here while responding to some comments. I did upload a video last night, I uploaded my five like tips on how to like change your life, but like realistic tips. I'm um, so I uploaded that video last night, so I'm responding to comments. I have 72 comments. You know, the internet can be such like a shitty place, like just <laughs> weird, but I'm just so grateful that my audience, you guys have just been so positive and some of you guys have been around with me for so long and although you guys might not agree with all of the decisions that I've made in my life over the years, you guys have remained, you know, loyal and um, just here, you know, because, you know, I, I, I always appreciate an audience that can grow with you because who I was when I started this Octavia B channel is not who I am today. Um, and you guys are just with me on this journey and it's amazing. I want to start crying but like seeing comments from like women who've told me that I've helped them and some of these women they're telling me that they're so much older than me but I'm helping them and it's just so touching because it's like I, okay I go through these phases you guys where I feel like I'm just a waste of space where the internet is concerned right because I don't know where I'm adding value and if I'm not adding value to a situation I don't care what it is. I don't want any parts of it because I don't like wasting time Okay, so it's 829 right now and I have the biggest knot in my shoulder blade like it, it, it's Annoying so I'm gonna head out now because I don't want to be late. So I'll catch you guys later I'm wearing this puffer coat from and other stories. It's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. I wear this thing like every single day of my life and I love it so much. It still is looking so good. Um, I just like to cinch my waist also like that. Just a little, well, that's giving like <laughs> very like, you know, but I love this coat so much. I don't know what bag I'm gonna take. But also, 
Ugh. I really don't want to take, take my long shot bag. Okay, it might just be a long shot bag day, which I am annoyed about, but it's okay. I'll take it because I want to just make sure that everything that I need to carry can fit. Figured I'm going to use these two. It's my perfume Damarly. Um, this is Atalia and Darcy, I think. Did I get that right? Wow, I never do. <laughs> I always mix them up. Okay, so this is the Darcy, which is a bit more on like the fresher side. Um, if you ever buy these fragrances, they're very potent. You don't need as much as what you see me spraying. Literally the only reason I'm bringing this gigantic long chomp bag is because it's gonna rain and I wanna bring my umbrella. And I hate holding umbrellas in my hand. It's so annoying. Um, anyways, I'm gonna bring my pouch and I'm gonna bring my little business notebook here just so I kind of know what I'm doing for the day. Let me grab a pen. All right. I like to call this my big girl bag because whenever I carry this bag, it's truly business. All right, what am I gonna wear from my foot? I don't have like good like, you know, I'm running a quick, quick errand. Let's put on some shoes. I either have heels, sneakers, or Ugg boots and it's like for this outfit I should be wearing like a little like leather like slip-on moment that would be cute but I don't have anything goodness the mini heart attack that I just had trying to buy my vlogging camera <laughs> one thing about the long chomp bags it's like a black hole so things get lost really easily and anyways I was able to go to my two appointments and get everything that I really need um, or needed um, I feel very proud of myself um, Today I just wanted to tackle all the things that I've been putting off that I need to get done because they're important and I feel very proud. I like, you know, completing my grown-up task without, you know, my mom because it's been so long. But um, I'm in this like random building so let me go. Um, oh, the lighting was so good here though. Should we take a photo? Should we? I think we should. Hold on. The lighting here is really nice. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Is this an apartment building? Because that would be very embarrassing. There are like a bunch of windows on that side. And I kind of feel like I'm being watched. Alright, I'm finished. I'm gonna just head out now. I think I'm gonna go home. It's 10.09. Which is, oh my gosh, it's only 10.09. My appointment was at 10, but because I got here early, they were able to see me earlier and it was really really quick and then i actually came to get like photos taken like headshots type of thing um so at the photo studio back there which is really really quick also hey guys i'm still in the city it's um what time is it now <laughs> i want to say like after three i don't even know but it's so flipping cold i'm trying to walk to the ups store right now to print something as well as ship I was gonna put it off until tomorrow, but I was like, you know what? This is my problem, the procrastination and putting things off for another day when I'm already here. It's also so cold, like I'm sniffling everywhere. My AirPods died, so I have the cords out. But that's all right, I do prefer the cords anyways. But yeah, um, it's just cold in the city, you guys, and I have my long puffer on and my uggs and i'm still feeling it mainly my hands though and like my face my body is relatively warm but yeah i'll check in with you guys when i get to the ups store all right guys i am home i got back around 35 minutes ago i've just been on the couch um decompressing i just feel like it was so cold in the city i 
could not wait to get home to my warm apartment because it's cold outside i was not expecting that i'm very happy that i wore my uggs and my long coat otherwise i would not have been okay but i was able to get every single thing done and i'm so happy because i've been putting off these very same like things for weeks so yeah we're home now and i'm making myself a little quick pot of chicken soup i did tell myself that i was going to eat chili for the rest of the week well it's friday now but i was going to just eat it for until it's out and i also did put some in the freezer because chili is like really good to have in the freezer to heat up for like a quick dinner you know randomly so i was going to eat chili today but i'm like you know what some chicken soup would really just make me feel so good i deserve it after such a long day so i'm making some chicken soup um but not like my usual like bust down chicken soup i'm just gonna make like a really quick like i only have carrots and potatoes one soup pack and some chicken thighs. I don't have no scallion, no thyme, nothing. So I don't really know how good it's gonna be, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna close this vlog out here though, cause I just feel like from here on out, I just wanna have a relaxing weekend. I wanna start editing and just like straighten up overall. It's not messy in here, but you know, so a little light clean. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I was up to. Now let me know below how your week went. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you next week. Bye.